promised when we commissioned the trucks you know sometimes the uh, trucks are commissioned and people claim that they cannot see the trucks or the buses uh, on the road so we want to make sure that we don't fall into the same trap so we have come here with the town clerk uh, engineer chisango uh, we are in the district uh, officers uh, for Marlborough. Borodel and Brindel Highlands. So, or oh, this Marbury uh, and Brindel Highlands, we mm -hmm. they are here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got the drivers of the trucks, and we've also got a female driver. Wow. Kamjario, she drives one of the trucks, and she went through the rigorous process of being the drivers who are going to uh, uh, break in these new vehicles. So we have and the other four drivers uh, that are also going to be driving the trucks. We, it's a big responsibility. We need to take care of these trucks. Uh, we are handing them over to you, brand new, and we hope and this time we want to dedicate the trucks uh, between one or two people at the most. When you are off, you need to know who is driving the car or when you are changing over the shift, you need. So we want dedicated crews for these cars. Last week, and this drivers also let's have responsibility of, of the trucks so that it's not two, two people, uh, maybe an alternate which three, but not more than that. Without this way, the history of motor, at one time, Saka, what we will do is we will also buy truck uh, so that we have a truck per each ward. Uh, as we used to do, we have 45 wards, so we should be able to buy 45 trucks in the shortest possible time. We know there are other wards that are heavily polluted, uh, popul populated, like the southern districts, which will need more trucks than this and the tractors that we have. So we have a tractor per watt, we have a, tr a truck per watt, and the tractor will have the trailer. The tractors, we already have them, and uh, we are just waiting for the trailers uh, to be purchased. So this is a good day. So these trucks will specifically go to Marlborough, Mount, Mount Pleasant, Mount Pleasant Borodell, Borodell, and Greendale. So these are the areas where these new trucks will go. And we are calling on the residents and the residents associations for those areas to form uh, groups, uh, that is waste management groups, that will take care and will look after the equipment and the staff and communicate with each other on the schedules of getting uh, uh, the, the refuse. So that... Uh, oh, <laughs> residents. Yes. yes, so the chairman uh, for the Mount Pleasant residence is Pomona here. Estate. Yeah? Pomona Estate. Pomona Estate yes. is, is here. So that uh, we, there are a number of uh, residents association in Mount Pleasant. Thank and and, and uh, we are giving you this equipment. Thank you. Uh, and uh, they are going, we want you to be able to take care of them. We also want to, you to be able to encourage to form a group so that there are small things that we can do we have that with our health committees uh, they are the welfare of the drivers uh, the issues of you know small little things sometimes uh, they are late in getting fuel you need to be able to have an interactive relationship with them you know you've got tractors now in your work but they need the trailers uh, sometimes other people have the trailers yes. they could be operating uh, right now it's easier to give fuel to a tractor so that's what we are going to do and all the other words uh, in the uh, must not uh, uh, be despondent we have trucks already that are functioning and those trucks it means they'll be dedicated to those words but what we are doing is that we are putting up a tender to get 15 more trucks and uh, we, we we hope to then immediately have 220 uh, brand new trucks and after that we'll try to then uh, procure the remaining 25.
and once we have a full complement that are new, we do hope that will do that. Then we will look at the payment rates, uh, the, the, the sustainability of this scheme is dependent on our payment levels. So if we are able to say this area has got its trucks and we get to 80% payment rate, for example, how many residents are in uh, Mount Place in your ward? <coughs> the rate payers? Uh, 12,000 plus or 15,000 plus. What it means that if each of them are paying uh, to a degree uh, of what, $10, that's roughly our 8 to $10 per month, we can quickly be able to ring fence those amounts and we'll be able to procure more equipment uh, uh, faster.